Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, beep game. All right, man. Um, I feel like it's really important to talk about this subject because this is a subject that a lot of people don't feel comfortable talking about. They try to, uh, you know, evade this this conversation. But you gonna hear it on my channel. Like I told you, you don't like what I talk about. The keep your ass off my channel. You know, because I feel at the end of the day, my, my channel is not watered down. And I'll tell it like how, I, you know, I'll tell it like how it is. I just tell the truth. Because at the end of the day, we need more truth than lies. And I told you, I'm not finna water down my channel. I'm not finna sit up here and make people feel comfortable because they may throw a couple of dollars in my super chat and all that. Nah, sorry. At the end of the day, that's still a form of selling out. But I want to talk about, you know, how I just want to prove a point on how, you know, finicky and fake people is, you know, especially people that watch these content creator channels, the so-called sub, the so-called people that that comment on your channel about certain situations. Now, I just got through in the last video talking about the fight between, you know, Usman and Mizbedal. And, you know, I'll just put it to you this way in terms that you can understand more clearly. It seemed to me that a lot of people have a problem with, you know, the darker fighter beating the more whiter or other fighter. And they call this performance boring. And you have people comparing this to Floyd Mayweather. You know, here's the thing that tripped me out. You get people that talk about how skilled Lomachenko is, which he is, how skilled he is, and they talk about Tyson Fury's skills when he don't have shit in his gloves, which that seemed to be a theme for him. And then you talk about some other fighters. You know, you talk about the Joe Kazagi, guys like that. You would hear people say skills pay the bills, and they would praise them on their skills. Now, What's the difference between them and I'll add Andre Ward? Andre Ward was a masterful, skillful boxer. So what's the and, and they would criticize Andre Ward. They would call him Andre Board. Andre Board. Shit like that. So what's the difference between the fighters I just named? You know, that they say skills pay the bills. Lomachenko. Joe Kazagi, Tyson Fury. I can tell you what it is. They all happen to be white. But the thing is, when those dudes beat black fighters, then they holler about skills pay the bills. But when Floyd beat fighters, especially fighters that don't happen to be black, then he's boring. The thing is with Manny Pacquiao, like I said, whether people want to Admit it or not, like I said, a lot of these white supremacists align themselves with Manny Pacquiao. He was the adopted great white hope. And that's why some of them were so angry how he got dominated by Floyd Mayweather. And you could come up with your, if you watch the fight in slow motion and all that type of shit, all you want, you want to try to pull that bullshit in. I don't know what to tell you. You sound like you're desperate. Okay. That's just real talk. And then you have people say, well, this has nothing to do with color. I don't I don't like Floyd Mayweather because Floyd Mayweather talks too much. He brags too much. He shows off his money. You know, he has a big, a, a big mouth. Why don't he let his, you know, skills do the talking in the ring? Oh, okay. Well, why do you like Tyson Fury so much? Because Tyson Fury has never been quiet in any press conference. Because most of the time he's hyperactive off that coke he be using. Then you'll have people that'll say, you know, we don't like the issue with Floyd Mayweather because Floyd Mayweather, you know, is a woman beater and all this kind of stuff. So that's one of the reasons. It has nothing to do with race. We just want fighters to be more responsible. Oh, okay. Well, then why didn't you guys go in on uh, Sergey Kovalev? Who, a, who beat up a woman and a dog. 
And hey, we didn't like the comments that Floyd Mayweather said about Manny Pacquiao. We were outraged. Mm. But okay, well, why did you guys criticize in particularly black YouTube channels for going in on Abel Sanchez for saying that black fighters don't sell? What about the comments that Sergey Kovalev made about Andre Ward? And Adonna Stevenson. If you say there's no room for racism, why wasn't you just as outraged? Oh, well, uh, Sergey Kovalev doesn't speak English very well, so he doesn't know what he's saying. Yes, he do. Yes, he do. See, it's always, it, it's always an excuse. Oh, Andre Ward, he's too boring. He need to be more vocal. Terrence Crawford is too, he, he doesn't say enough. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't speak enough. Errol Spence needs to speak a little bit more. So, which one is it? It just goes to show you, people just come up with fake outrage and fake criticism towards a black fighter. Just because they don't like the idea of a black fighter being dominant. At the end of the day, yes, Andre Ward has a white father. But in most of you guys' eyes, you consider him black. Okay? Like I said, why didn't you like Andre Ward? Andre Ward carried himself in a classy manner. Andre Ward never had any incidents outside of uh, boxing. Father of five husband church going man i thought he was the type of fighter that y'all y'all wanted to support but like i said you guys always show who you are at the end of the day and no i'm not just talking about white people that was doing this shit it was a lot of mexicans a lot of asians doing this shit and a lot of non-blacks and some coons that was doing that stuff loma chaco ain't a big big talker but y'all praise his skills. Okay. Y'all talk about Lomacheco doesn't hardly lose rounds. Well, Floyd didn't hardly lose rounds. Andre Ward didn't hardly lose rounds. So why were they bored? But Lomacheco and Tyson Fury have the so-called skill. See, y'all can never answer that. All y'all gonna do is thumb down the video because at the end of the day, I'm exposing y'all for y'all subliminal and y'all racism. And I'm gonna keep doing it to y'all because y'all deserve it. I told you I ain't doing this kumbaya talk because like I said, since when? And boxing has always been racially motivated. Like I said before, you say there's no room for racism. We don't want to hear talks about racism. But yet, y'all was okay with those racist emails, those bigoted emails that Golden Boy sent out about Al Heyman. Y'all was okay with that. Y'all told us, us black people, to stop crying. So that's why I say fuck y'all too. Because y'all just as fake as white people. And the same thing with y'all Asians. Where was y'all at when the Golden Boy shit jumped off? Where was y'all at when the Abel Sanchez shit jumped off? Nowhere to be found. Remember, y'all say, you know, that don't involve y'all. Okay, or, or you, no, let me get this straight. You don't care about racism unless you think it's directed towards y'all. But when it's directed towards blacks, you have nothing to say. Because like I said, y'all fake. But then y'all want to extend y'all hand out when it's convenient for y'all to say hey let's work together as one group one minority and all nah no no i don't think so i don't think so because at the end of the day we all have different wants and needs and demands so you can't categorize us and put us all in one group because like i said lord knows y'all ain't around when shit happened to us now, the only reason why some of y'all was hollering about Black Lives Matter, which a lot of y'all was making a mockery out of this shit, is because basically there was nothing else to do. If the world was functioning how it was like six months ago, we would I guarantee you, they wouldn't have been people out there protesting. Because like I said, a lot of people is grandstanding. 
And it's funny, nobody ever wants us to have the spotlight. When anything go on in our community, you want to hear people that try to throw up like a defense mechanism with that, oh, well, what about black on black crime? Like I said, what about Mexican on Mexican crime? What about Asian on Asian crime? Since you want to play that, that game, what about white on white crime? Whenever, whenever the focus is on us, then here everybody come trying to throw they group, they ethnic groups in the mix. What, what about Hispanic? What about y'all? For real? What about hey, what about y'all? Shit! You fight your fight on your time, but not on ours. You're not included in our group, cause like I said, a lot of y'all work alongside the man to go against us. And I'ma keep and I'ma keep saying this shit. Cause I told you, I don't water down my channel. But like I said, I'm just calling out these double standards. It's always an excuse. Like I said before, they despise Deontay Wilder. Despise Deontay Wilder. Who all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying, came out of nowhere. Who was the anti-Floyd Mayweather? You know, came in there trying to get guys out of there. Because you guys said, hey, we don't like Floyd's style of fighting. We want knockouts. That's all we want. We want to see knockouts. We don't want to see. And we want to see it in devastating fashion. So, Deontay Wilder starts knocking everybody out from the gate. His first 40-something fights was pretty much all knockouts. Okay. But then people found something roll, roll with that. Oh, Deontay Wilder can't box. We don't like his skill set. We don't like his skill set. We don't like how... But I thought you guys just wanted to see knockouts. I thought you didn't care about that. And Deontay Wilder didn't really have no run-ins with the law. But you still found something wrong with him. Okay? You still found something wrong with him. Oh, and then here's another thing. Now I know somebody gonna say, well, you know, Tam, you know, as a white guy, I kinda didn't like what he said about Eddie Hearn. You know, Eddie Hearn, just another white man milking the brother. But then y'all, once again, y'all disappeared when Eddie Hearn's daddy made that re slave master remark in front of two, you know, uh, melanin black men. Y'all was like, well, you know, town, I think you, you know, y'all blowing this out of court. Uh, y'all, y'all race bait. So, but y'all accused us of race baiting when we was pissed off about the comments Abel Sanchez said. So Abel Sanchez wasn't race baiting. You had all these people trying to defend Abel Sanchez. You had that, that, uh, pussy, that punk bitch, uh, Michael Montero. Oh, and Michael, I know you still listen to my video. You a bitch. You a bitch. For real. You a bitch. But you had guys like him defending Abel Sanchez, trying to blame this on black people. Oh, see, they're gonna use this to rape. But a but Abel Sanchez singled out a whole group of people. But that was cool. But you had people coming on here saying y'all need to quit quit crying. But then when Adrian Broner made his comments, then everybody was upset. Coming on LDBC channel saying. Well, you know, ain't y'all gonna talk about what Adrian Broner said? And I was like, nah, I ain't talk about that shit because y'all don't care when somebody say something about us. Now, you had some people try to get on Adrian Broner's helmet, but, you know, not me. This goes on too much, you guys. See how I could go incident for, you know, incident? Y'all pick and choose what y'all want to be mad about. Okay. Y'all didn't y'all didn't y'all didn't have nothing to say when it was us that was being insulted. Y'all told us to stop race baiting, y'all told us to stop crying. So like I said, if you Mexican and somebody say something about a Mexican, stop crying. If you Asian, somebody say something about an Asian, an Asian fighter, stop crying. Because I'm doing y'all the same way y'all did us. If you a coon, stop, stop crying. 
you know? Because I told you, I'm not cooning on my channel. I'm sorry, I just ain't gonna do it. I'm not gonna say the things that y'all wanna, wanna hear to make y'all feel good. I ain't never, I'm not ever gonna say that uh, a non-black fighter is better than a black fighter. So you wasting your time. I'm gonna give him his props. You won't see me making no videos. Is Manny Pacquiao better than Floyd Mayweather? And the answer is no, absolutely not. Because he has multiple losses and he's been knocked out at least three times. So, no. He hasn't. He hasn't had a better career than Floyd Mayweather. So, yeah, you can thumb down the video all you want. You can make response videos because I told you I'm going to keep bringing it to y'all. Because the truth need to be told. How wishy-washy you guys are. So, skills only pay the bills when it comes to certain type of fighters. But when certain type of fighters have the same skills that you guys claim to love so much, then all of a sudden they, they, they boring. They don't excite you. Because they dominate fighters that look pretty much like y'all. And y'all have a problem with it. But it's funny now. You got all these people praising guys like like Josh Kelly who ain't fought nobody then you know the other one Josh Taylor who have what you call a, a, a black fighter style y'all talking about skills okay but then when it came to our fighters the hell with skills they was born so like I said you guys do this on a regular basis and I'm gonna keep ethering y'all asses because it's fun but nevertheless thank you for watching this video this is your boy town biz i'm out